I'm waiting for him to leave. I'm waiting for you guys to leave before I do anything. <laughs> Did you see the next go? I ain't got nothing to talk about. I need a break. So. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Devon Jack Walker and I'm a professional basketball player. So this upcoming season will be my 10th year. I wouldn't call it coaching, but a little bit of player development. Uh, just trying to help where I can. Just more of a player perspective, not the old school, yeah. you know, teaching methods. Just more so what players see, mm -hmm. more so what players feel, and more so what players think. What is that? So mental coaching is understanding the ups, downs, understand what, what it takes to be a good athlete. Mentally, I do one-on-one -on -one shooting coaches. I mean like shooting sessions only. It's only shooting no real skill work Just shooting and then breaking down how to like the mentality of a shooter Essentially, if you want to get a shooting, shooting session and hit me on the ground You watch it immediately. You've got to have a short memory or you won't really last So you learn it boom you get what you need from it and go to the next one for me It's going back to the most comfortable part. Like what do you do best? Just focus on how it, I know I'm the best this or best that. I gotta go get this rebound. You know what I mean? I'm the best rebounder, I gotta go get the next rebound. It makes me feel good. Okay, I'm the best shooter, gotta make this next shot. Or I'm the best, whatever you feel you can bring to the team, you gotta find a way to lock back in on that. Because your mistakes usually come from things that you aren't the best at. Because you don't, you don't dwell, like you're an elite rebounder, right? You don't dwell when you miss a rebound. Think about it, so why would you dwell on the things you're good at? So if you're thinking about the things you're bad at all the time, then it becomes heavy, it comes to be heavy. So just find a way to focus. I'm good at this, let me stay right here and be good at this. It's tough when you say more than an athlete because that can go anywhere, but I think a lot of athletes that do more get that confidence from being an athlete. Okay. So me in particular, like my personality, the things that I want to do all comes from being an athlete. Just my everyday skill, life skills, all of that comes from being an athlete. So it's tough to separate them out. Oh, I'm not an athlete. It's hard to be like, no, I'm not that. Yeah. I'm more. Yeah, so no. Because yeah. the athlete gives you the opportunity to be who you want to be, essentially. Yeah, because in sports, there's so many failures through it. Um, way more failures in sports than it is in life, if you ask me. Yeah. So if you can find your way through that, then the confidence of life or being whatever you want to be becomes way easier. So you try to eliminate all of that, but the failures in life and the failures of sport, they're gonna come regardless. Like, my most vivid memories of failure come through basketball. So when you go through it in basketball, it's like, oh, this was a horrible moment, horrible experience in life. You're like, I remember this moment. All right, let me get through this. I remember how I did it. I remember that. It's easy to get through it once you know. You know, I think life, it's tough, but I think sport is way harder. <laughs> I honestly think it's way harder. You can actually build relationships in Australia versus you just play, get your money, you can go. Yeah. My favorite thing about playing in Australia, probably what I said earlier, just the way you can communicate with your teammates. It's a beautiful brand of basketball. I think it's a perfect blend between the European style and the NBA style. Um, it's free flowing, it's, it's energetic, it's fun, um, but it's not as technical or it's not as laxed. So I think it's a perfect balance for, for hoop heads who really love, who really love the game. Rockingham is, is family. Uh, they embrace me and my family, embrace me and my wife and my daughter and everything that came out of Rockingham has given me something to, to keep going, moving forward. Like just even being able to work with the Lynx all based off the Rockingham situation. All of it works, like me meeting Ryan, um, him giving me the opportunity to come out here. So it just opened so many doors and avenues for me to stay and, and live in this beautiful country. Um, but in terms of basketball, it's great when, um, uh, I might hurt some feelings here, but when you're the team to beat yeah. in the NBA one, yeah. it feels good to be that. And I've never been in a position where I'm the team to beat. Yeah. So being in Rockingham is great. Like um, the past couple years, it's like you beat Rockingham, you got a pretty good win under your belt. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, so just having that title defense at all times is, is, is good. It's good yeah. to have. Embrace your flaws early. Embrace your flaws early. I think when I was younger, it was so much trying to be like this or trying to be like this that I kind of lost the, the essence of me. Mm -hmm. The past couple of years, I've definitely got the essence back of who I am, what I like to do, 
what I like to be, what I aspire to be. But growing up, it was what you're supposed to be, in a sense. So I would tell myself, try to embrace more of the things that you like to do, the words you like to speak, and the people you like to hang around, not what you think it should be like. Devondra Walker, professional basketball player, and that was Under the Surface, pumped by Reebok.